Okay. <clears throat> Good morning, YouTube. Um, another watch, uh, show, and tell today, or a side by side comparison. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, basically what I do is I, I give you a, a quick kind of show and tell is what I call because they're not really reviews. Um, I'm not a watch expert. I just give you some basic facts about the watch. More importantly, the measurement because the watches that I review are, are generally all pretty large in size. Um, they're, they're going, they have that whole uh, jumbo kind of large face theme going on. And that's basically what I'm into is the bigger the, bigger, the better when it comes to the watch. And uh, I, pick, I mainly review uh, a lot of Invictus because it's my favorite brand, but um, I've also been reviewing a lot of the Android watches, and uh, I tell you, you get so much for your money with this brand. If they keep doing what they're doing, uh, they're, they're really going to keep selling more and more watches. It's amazing how much you get. I mean, I've gone into stores. Right now, there's a deal going on one of the Android watches. I'm not going to say where or how much. That's up to you to find it, okay? Um, but you can get one of them right now for $65. And the one I'm going to show you here is not the same one, but the same model. It's in a different tone, a different tone. of course. This one's going to be an automatic I'm going to show you. But, I mean, you go into Big K and you look at like a, like they have watches in there, like basic cheap watches for $25. I mean, for $30 more, you're going to get just a, a, a watch. I'll knock your socks off when you get it. I'm, I'm just, it's amazing. Um, so let's begin. Um, like I said, basically what I do is I show you the watch on the wrist uh, when I was, you know, when I'm looking for watches and Definitely in the past before I got into the Androids and Invictus, it really doesn't help to see that guy with the watch showing you it up close. You really can't see, you know, sure you can see what the watch looks like, but you really can't see how it looks on the person. And that's what I find really important to kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like on you. Uh, that definitely personalizes it and you can imagine yourself wearing one of these bad boys, okay? So uh, definitely check out my other channels. I, I go through all this whole spiel every time I have I do a video, uh, but it's important for people who just are now discovering my channel. Okay, so uh, let's begin. So what I'm gonna do um, is I'm gonna do a side by side comparison today. That's what I've been doing lately because a lot of times people will pick up one of these watches. They like it so much they go back for more and they wonder what the other model they were looking at might look like. So it's really helpful in uh, not only selling these watches, which I wish I did because I'd be making some dough doing it, um, but nonetheless I get to share uh, something I'm pretty passionate about with you folks and you guys seem to like the videos. And uh, But you can help me, of course, by checking out FatCatWatch.com. There's a link in the description and there's a lot more uh, information on there. Uh, check out the ads, check out some of the sellers selling stuff and uh, ultimately if you make that purchase, um, you're going to get the best deal doing it that way. Um, and also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, okay, if you, if you like the content here. So, let's do the side-by-side. -side. Let's begin. The first one we're going to be going with today is the Android Millipede, okay? This is not Android, the operating system. It's AndroidUSA.com. Um, unfortunately, that they should, probably should have chosen a different name. I don't know who came along first, but it's, I think it really hurts people searching for their watches because, you know, there's so much Android stuff out there in regards to phones um, and tablets and stuff like that. It's just... It's, I never heard of them until my dad picked one up from Shop HQ. And I'm so glad he did because they have some amazing models. And um, this one right here is the Android AD757. It's called the Millipede. And uh, they call it the Millipede, I guess, because I guess they have this crazy kind of band that uh, kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't necessarily say it looks like a Millipede, but yeah, I can see where they're going with that, you know. Pretty aggressive band. All these are threaded screws, so you can actually uh, size this to yourself. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm going to go into just a little bit of specs about it. This one here is a full automatic Seiko movement. It's powered by a S2 NH36A. If you look at the Androids, if you pick one of these up, if you pull the trigger and pick one of these bad boys up, um, you know, any of the large ones basically, uh, you'll be back for more and you'll notice that a lot of the automatic watches by Android uh, will be powered by the uh, Seiko movement. So it's a great movement, um, fully automatic, which means it winds itself. Um, 24 joules. It's a Japan movement, of course. This watch measures 53 millimeters by 57, and that's all the way to the crown in this one, okay? The case is actually 55. This is a massive watch. Unsized weighs about 15 ounces. This is a chunk. This is getting up there to what a Venom is going to weigh, folks, an Invicta Venom. If you like the Venom, uh, amazing. And, you know, you're going to pay minimum probably about $300 for a bracelet, uh, a bracelet Venom. Um, I, got, I picked this thing up for like 150 bucks. I mean, just an amazing deal. And now, I mean, you're not always going to find deals like that. Again, that depends on, you know, their production and stuff like that. But I've seen these go as high as five. And if you honestly paid five for this, you, you really didn't get a bad deal. This is a, a fantastic watch. I mean, 150 you can't go wrong. But if you're right in between there and you pay about, I think average what they go for is about 250 300 I mean, you're, you're getting a fantastic watch. Automatic. Automatic, folks. 
Um, 36 millimeter in band width, of course, and 9 inches in length. So if you're a really big guy, uh, you got plenty of extra uh, links there to be able to, so, to wear this. Um, the model number on this one here, they say, is the AD757 uh, BRBU. I think that's a that's specific to a certain website I'm looking at. Um, and, of course, these things have a, from what I understand, a two-year warranty. Uh, pretty amazing. You have a CNC grooved uh, case right there. And like I said, that band just, it really stands out. It's really unique. Um, they have a multi-step bezel. And they do a little bit of, the finish is a little bit different on this. They, uh, there's not a lot of contrast, but there's a little bit. They do kind of like a sandblasting around the bezels, what I believe they call it. And they have just your, your brush stainless steel. You do have the exhibition back window. And I love the clasp on these things because you have the, the push-button deployment clasp, which is something that Invicta doesn't use. And I'm not really sure why. I think it's it just feels like you get a much, much better lock on your wrist. Um... Let's see, they are made in China. This one does have a 1,650 feet water resistance. Uh, pretty darn good. Um, so enough about that one. Let's go, and I'm going to show what these look like on the wrist. Because like I was saying earlier, I didn't really uh, address this too much. Is that um, when you see it on a wrist, a guy my size, I have 7 inch wrist. I weigh about 170 pounds, 5 foot 8. It's going to give you a good idea of how large that watch is going to look like on your wrist. Because these are really big watches. Now I'm desensitized. If I, if I don't have a 55 or larger, I'm starting to feel like it's a little small. But a 50 millimeter watch is huge. Which brings us to the next one here. This is one flashy watch. This one is a silver jet. And they make a lot of different silver jets. But this silver jet is done in the, and I don't know if you can even get the same more. They might be sold out. But this was done in a full mirror polish the entire thing and you have a kind of a, a satin finished bezel okay this one is a full automatic same movement as the millipede um, and then each one of these are threaded just like the millipede so you can size yourself with little tiny screwdrivers and of course they do a two-tone where you have the polished silver and the polished rose tone this is a beautiful watch folks as soon as I saw this one I had to get it because I'm a really big fan of anything that's in two-tone okay um, a little bit about this one here 52 millimeter case diameter 19 millimeters in thickness, so it's a, a very chunky watch. This one here uses what they call like a, um, Invicta calls it a case and cradle. Uh, they, these guys call it a sandwich case design where you have the watch, the actual round case sandwich in between the actual uh, case, if I'm saying that correctly. Probably not. Uh, this one here has got, uh, again, the day and date, and it has this kind of a ghost window where you can see the other numbers right there. Um, they all have luminescent hands and, and markings on them. Uh, they both have rotating bezels. I, I failed to mention that. And what else? Uh, 1,600 feet of water resistance and same deployment clasp. Um, just a beautiful watch. This one's a flashy one. They made this one in a black, which is pretty sweet too, black and silver. And then they made it in the, the uh, all silver. And then they have the rose tone and the yellow gold. Um, again, amazing deal for what I picked this up for. Um, again, the price fluctuates quite a bit, but just keep looking. Check out fatcatwatches.com. It'll take you to places where you can buy these things and find the best deal. Um, and from reputable sellers, too. Just a beautiful watch. I was going to show you a little bit closer here because I got a couple comments where I don't, from a few guys saying I don't show enough of the watch, um, you know, close ups here. But I figure you can look at pictures. What, what you guys really want to see is what it looks like on the wrist. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and throw it on there. Again, I am 5 foot 8 inches tall, about uh, 7 inch wrist, and about 170 pounds. Gorgeous, huh? Amazing amount of quality you get for your money here. I mean, if you go into, if you were to go into like Macy's or something like that, right, any one of those big department stores and look at some of the watches they have there, I mean, you can get, they have inexpensive watches. I've seen a few, I'm not going to drop any names, but um, I've seen a few different ones by some of those, you know, you know those uh, big time brands there, you know, that, um, that you know, make colognes and, and, and uh, suits and all that kind of stuff. And you're going to pay $80 for like a basic quartz watch. I mean, for what you pick this up for, I mean, uh, again, like look for the deals. I mean, it's amazing. Oh, and I failed to mention also the model number of this one is the 8717 in the rose tone, okay? Here's a shot from the side there. That sandwich case design is really, really cool. I'm telling you, if you're, if you're, if you're not an Invicta fan, you get a little closer because this is a little bit dark in this room right now. All right, not bad, huh? Um, again, if you're an Invicta fan and you've picked up any Invictus, um, you know, and by all means, check out my other videos. I have a lot of comparison videos on there that are showing like the Androids next to the Invictus. I think a lot of Invicta owners are definitely going to pull the trigger and pick up some of these watches because you get them for such a good deal and you get so much for your money. So there's the Millipede.
Now I'm hoping down the road they make this one in a two-tone polish like that particular one here, like the um, the Silver Jet. Because if they do, like I mean, I'm definitely gonna pick one of those up. I mean, that's just a that's a gorgeous watch. It's just a big chunky watch. And again, if you're not used to wearing a really large watch, um, you know this this might be a little heavy for you. But so you know maybe go with like the Silver Jet first. All right, so let's do another side by side here. Let me throw both on the wrist here. Now I don't normally wear two watches on my on my wrist. Although I have been tempted to be honest with you, because I'm I'm a, a watch addict. You can really see how large that that millipede band is. I mean, it's just huge. Kind of reminds me of like the Oakley time machines. Uh, they're pretty expensive. You're not going to get one of those too cheap. But um, the, they have they they're they make some cool watches too. But their bands are very aggressive. Try to get back a little here so you can see it from a distance. And this one here. I think once I've used up all my uh, all my um, all my reviews here, as far as uh, running out of uh, watches to side by side, you know, maybe in the summertime when we get some nice uh, weather, I'll do them outside. You really see what they look like in the sun. And again, a little close up here. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, two amazing watches by Android. Uh, do check out the comment section. Check out fatcatwatches.com again for more information. Uh, check out our Facebook page as lot. We're having a lot of good discussion. That's a very easy way uh, for you to go ahead and um, stay updated on the videos. A lot of people use the YouTube and you get that email when I upload a new video, but um, you know, a lot of times people don't always have that app on their phone or maybe they don't, they're not logged in or whatnot. Uh, but if you have, if you have Facebook, everybody's got Facebook. So uh, go ahead and find Fat Cat Watch's Facebook page. Go ahead and um, friend request us. And uh, this way you'll be up to date on all the new videos. And I'm trying to take requests, uh, but, you know, I am uploading this content uh, when I get time. So uh, it is slow moving, but um, just keep looking. Next watch on the list I think I'm going to pick up is the Invicta Sea Hunter in the all black. Um, um, I don't know. Nah, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> in the all black uh, model. It's just uh, it's got a black mother of pearl face, black case. Uh, that one's going to be a really neat one. And I'm not really a black watch fan, but I'm, I think I'm going to pull the trigger on and add it to the collection because I don't have any black watches. So, um, again, what else? Uh, yeah, remember to sus subscribe to the channel. And I do thank you for watching. If you have any comments or recommendations to make uh, the videos better, I'm, uh, by all means, open ears. Um, again, thank you for watching and enjoy your day.